Sunita Williams. Sunatalin Suni Williams Ne Pandya is a former American astronaut and a United States Navy officer. She holds the records for longest single space flight by a woman, total spacewalks by a woman, and most spacewalk time for a woman. Williams was assigned to the International Space Station as a member of Expedition 14 and Expedition 15. In 2012, she served as a flight engineer on Expedition 32 and then commander of Expedition 33. Ancestry and Early Life Sunita Williams was born in Euclid, Ohio, to Indian-American neuroanatomist Deepak Pandya and Slovene-American Ursuline Bonnie Pandya, née Zaloka, who have three children and reside in Falmouth, Massachusetts. Sunita is the youngest of three siblings, her brother Jay Thomas is four years older and her sister Dinah Anna is three years older. Williams' paternal ancestry is from Zhulazan, Maysana district in Gujarat, India while her maternal great-grandmother Mary Bohink, originally Marija Bohink, born September 5, 1890 in Lees, emigrated to America as an 11-year-old girl with her mother, an 1891 Slovene emigrant Ursula Bohink ne Straja. Williams graduated from Needham High School in Needham, Massachusetts, in 1983. She received a Bachelor of Science degree in Physical Science from the United States Naval Academy in 1987, and a Master of Science degree in Engineering Management from Florida Institute of Technology in 1995. Military Career Williams was commissioned an ensign in the United States Navy in May 1987. After a six-month temporary assignment at the Naval Coastal System Command, she was designated a basic diving officer. She next reported to the Naval Air Training Command, where she was designated a naval aviator in July 1989. She received initial H-46C night training in Helicopter Combat Support Squadron 3, HC-3, and was then assigned to Helicopter Combat Support Squadron 8, HC-8, in Norfolk, Virginia, with which she made overseas deployments to the Mediterranean. Red Sea and the Persian Gulf for Operation Desert Shield and Operation Provide Comfort. In September 1992, she was the officer in charge of an H-46 detachment sent to Miami, Florida, for Hurricane Andrew relief operations aboard the USS Sylvania. In January 1993, Williams began training at the U.S. Naval Test Pilot School. She graduated in December, and was assigned to the Rotary Wing Aircraft Test Directorate as an H-46 Project Officer and B-22 Chase Pilot in the T-2. Later, she was assigned as the Squadron Safety Officer and flew test flights in the Sh-60 Bytes per Fahrenheit, UH-1, AH-1W, Sh-2, VH-3, H-46, CH-53, and the H-57. In December 1995, she went back to the Naval Test Pilot School as an instructor in the Rotary Wing Department and as the school safety officer. There she flew the UH-60, OH-6, and the OH-58. She then went to the USS Saipan as the aircraft handler and the assistant air boss. Williams was deployed on the Saipan in June 1998 when she was selected by NASA for the astronaut program. She has logged more than 3,000 flight hours in more than 30 aircraft types. NASA career Williams began her astronaut candidate training at the Johnson Space Center in August 1998. Space flight experience STS-116 Williams was launched to the International Space Station, ISS with STS-116, aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery, on December 9, 2006, to join the Expedition 14 crew. In April 2007, the Russian members of the crew rotated, changing to Expedition 15. Among the personal items Williams took with her to the ISS were a copy of the Bhagavad Gita, a small figurine of the Hindu deity Ganesha, and some samosas. Expeditions 14 and 15 After launching aboard the shuttle Discovery, Williams arranged to donate her ponytail to Locks of Love. 
fellow astronaut Joan Higginbottom cut her hair aboard the International Space Station and the ponytail was brought back to Earth by the STS-116 crew. Williams performed her first extravehicular activity on the eighth day of the STS-116 mission. On January 31, February 4, and February 9, 2007, she completed three spacewalks from the ISS with Michael Lopez Alegria. During one of these walks, a camera became untethered, probably because the attaching device failed, and floated off to space before Williams could react. On the third spacewalk, Williams was outside the station for six hours and 40 minutes to complete three spacewalks in nine days. She is logged 29 hours and 17 minutes in four spacewalks, eclipsing the record held by Catherine C. Thornton for most spacewalk time by a woman. On December 18, 2007, during the fourth spacewalk of Expedition 16, Peggy Whitson surpassed Williams, with a cumulative EVA time of 32 hours, 36 minutes. In early March 2007, she received a tube of wasabi in a Progress spacecraft resupply mission in response to her request for more spicy food. When she opened the tube, which was packaged at one atmospheric pressure, the gel-like paste was forced out in the lower pressure of the ISS. In the free-fall environment, the spicy geyser was difficult to contain. On April 16, 2007, she ran the first marathon by a person in orbit. Williams finished the 2007 Boston Marathon in 4 hours and 24 minutes. The other crew members cheered her on and gave her oranges during the race. Williams' sister, Dinah Pandya, and fellow astronaut Karen L. Niberg ran the marathon on Earth, and Williams received updates on their progress from Mission Control. In 2008, Williams participated in the Boston Marathon again, this time on Earth. That same year, on the game show Duel, a question was made from that event. The answers were, London, New York, International Space Station, Paris. The most correct was the ISS. On April 26, 2007, NASA decided to bring Williams back to Earth on the STS-117 mission aboard Atlantis. She did not break the U.S. single space flight record that was recently broken by former crew member Commander Michael Lopez Alegria, but did break the record for longest single space flight by a woman. Williams served as a mission specialist and returned to Earth on June 22, 2007 at the end of the STS-117 mission. Poor weather at the Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral forced mission managers to skip three landing attempts there over previous 24 hours. They then diverted Atlantis to Edwards Air Force Base in California, where the shuttle touched down at 3.49 p.m. EDT, returning Williams home after a record 192-day stay in space. Expeditions 32 and 33 Williams launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome on July 15, 2012 as part of Expedition 32-33. Her Russian spacecraft Soyuz TMA-05M docked with the ISS for a four-month stay at the orbiting outpost on July 17, 2012. The docking of the Soyuz occurred at 4.51 Greenwich Mean Time as the ISS flew over Kazakhstan at an altitude of 252 miles. The hatchway between the Soyuz spacecraft and the ISS was opened at 7.23 Greenwich Mean Time when Williams floated into the ISS to begin her duties as a member of the Expedition 32 crew. She was accompanied on the Soyuz TMA-05M spacecraft by Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency JAXA, astronaut Akayoshi and Russian cosmonaut Yuri Malenchenko. Williams served as commander of the ISS during her stay aboard ISS Expedition 33, succeeding Gennady Padorka. She became the commander of the International Space Station on September 17, 2012, being only the second woman to achieve the feat. Also in September 2012, she became the first person to do a triathlon in space, which coincided with the Nautica Malibu Triathlon held in Southern California on Earth. She used the International Space Station's own treadmill and stationary bike, and for the swimming portion of the race, she used the Advanced Resistive Exercise Device, ARD, to do weightlifting and resistance exercises that approximate swimming in microgravity. After swimming half a mile, 0.8 kilometers, 
biking 18 miles, 29 kilometers, and running 4 miles, 6.4 kilometers. Williams finished with a time of 1 hour, 48 minutes and 33 seconds, as she reported. She returned to Earth with fellow astronauts flight engineers Yuri Malenchenko and Akai Oshide on November 19, 2012, touching down in the town of Arkhalik, Kazakhstan. Helicopters joined the search and recovery crew to assist them, as their capsule parachuted down some 35 kilometers, 22 miles, from the planned touchdown site due to a procedural delay. Spacewalks as of November 2012, Williams has made seven spacewalks totaling 50 hours and 40 minutes, putting Williams in number five on the list of most experienced spacewalkers. On August 30, 2012, Williams and JAXA astronaut Oshide ventured outside the ISS to conduct USEVA-18. They removed and replaced the failing main bus switching Unit 1, MBSU-1 and installed a thermal cover onto pressurized mating adapter 2, PMA2. 2007 Visit to India In September 2007, Williams visited India. She went to the Sabarmati Ashram, the ashram set up by Mahatma Gandhi in 1915, and her ancestral village Julazan in Gujarat. She was awarded the Sada Vala Pai Patel Vishwa Pratibha Award by the World Gujarati Society, the first person of Indian descent who was not an Indian citizen to be presented the award. On October 4, 2007, Williams spoke at the American Embassy School, and then met Manmohan Singh, the Prime Minister of India. Personal life Williams is married to Michael J. Williams, a federal police officer in Oregon. The two have been married for more than 20 years, and both flew helicopters in the early days of their careers. She has a pet Jack Russell Terrier named Gorby who was featured with her on the Dog Whisperer television show on the National Geographic Channel on November 12, 2010. Her recreational interests include running, swimming, biking, triathlons, windsurfing, snowboarding and bow hunting. She is an avid Boston Red Sox fan. Williams has expressed a desire to adopt a girl from Ahmedabad. Organizations. Society of Experimental Test Pilots, Society of Flight Test Engineers, American Helicopter Association. Honors and Awards Navy Commendation Medal, twice, Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal, Humanitarian Service Medal, Medal for Merit in Space Exploration, Russia, 2011, for Outstanding Contribution to the Development of International Cooperation in Manned Space Flight. Padma Bhushan, Honorary Doctorate by Gujarat Technological University in 2013, Golden Order for Merits, Slovenia, 2013, for her contribution to the promotion of natural and technical sciences, and especially their promotion among younger generations of Slavans.